The 3D effect on the 3DS is not for everyone, but for me personally, it adds to the experience of the game and the graphics look better. Sure, the frame rate drops and it strains your eyes and you need to keep your head steady and it's not recommended for any kids under six years old. Wait a minute, how long is this a list? Ah, humbug. Anyways, the only reason you need to use the 3DS is because it's called the 3DS. Wait a minute. The first game I played on the 3DS was a perfect example of a game that utilized it perfectly. Super Mario 3D Land. You could switch the 3D from depth to popping out. The game itself is laid out isometrically. Isometrically? Is that a word? When I bought the 3DS, which I've talked about in that 3DS video, I bought it on Craigslist and they threw in Super Mario 3D Land with a system. I went home and I played it, and the 3D effect on the game makes it easier to see where you're going when you parkour all over the level with Mario. When I played it, I was really amazed at the graphics, and it looked even better with the 3D. It has like a gloss here compared to these two screens. Oh wait, I can't show you the 3D over recording. Okay, what if I just show it over the camera? Oh, I can't show it like that either. Okay, you're gonna have to trust me on this one, okay? Now as far as the eyesight strain or whatever, my eyesight hasn't been affected by the 3D, okay? One feature where the 3D was used as well was in the 3DS camera. The 3DS could take photos with the 3D effect and videos as well. You could change the focus on the 3D overlap if you wanted to give yourself an instant headache, or just hit X to autofocus. You can make your own videos in 3D, and it's basically IMAX. So for the rest of the video, I'm going to record using my 3DS, and if you're watching on the 3DS or a 3D TV, you can all watch it in 3D. Uh, just kidding, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. The 3D effect on the system never really saw the potential it could have had with movies and videos, and Nintendo released their own videos that were in 3D in the beginning of the 3DS's life, as well as YouTube in 3D. Nintendo Video was an app where you could watch 3D videos made for the 3DS. The app has been defunct for a while, but you can still watch them here on YouTube. I remember Dinosaur Office from back in the day, and the YouTube app is also not supported anymore since 2019. Netflix was dropped a year later in 2021, and I remember it was rumored that Netflix was going to have 3D movies on the 3DS, but it never happened. Probably due to the 3D not catching onto the mainstream as it was expected. When the 3DS released, a lot of TV manufacturers were making 3D TVs, and there was even a phone, the HTC Evil 3D, released in 2011, the same year as the 3DS. Everyone was trying to get into the 3D space, but it never took off, and even the 3D on the 3DS games eventually were dropped. The initial release of the 3DS saw a lot of titles with 3D in the name, and focused around that effect. Super Mario 3D Land, as I mentioned earlier, Street Fighter 4 3D, Rayman 3D, some of the best titles use 3D to their advantage. Donkey Kong Returns 3D, anyone? And of course the 3D classic lineup that included Excite Bike and Kirby's Adventure, with added 3D effects, but eventually the effect was dropped, like in Pokemon X and Y. Not completely, but it was only used in battles and cutscenes, with the rest of the game in 2D. The battles in 3D did suffer frame drops, and the 3D effect did affect game performances. X and Y released in 2013, so only a few years into the 3DS's life, and the 3D was already being cut. The Ruby and Sapphire remix also did the same thing, and later on Sun and Moon completely went full 2D. Now it wasn't surprising that things ended up going that way because of the way 3D in general didn't catch on, and basically only movie theaters and whatnot kept the 3D going. And obviously Nintendo themselves releasing the 2DS systems, which uh, you know, don't have the 3D. And the last 3DS system released, well it was a new 2DS XL. The 3D effect was also cautioned for use for anyone under 6 years old, and with Nintendo games being marketed towards a younger audience, maybe that was another reason to get rid of that 3D to cover all their bases. The games that use it well will always be a stamp in time, and in honor of the 3D, I'm going to play a bunch of 3D games non-stop, showcasing the best 3D effects on the system. The coin bonus rooms in Super Mario 3D Land, the background parts of Donkey Kong Country Returns, Metal Gear Solid 3D, Super Monkey Ball, Ready? Well, it's been about 48 hours of non-stop full 3D gaming and uh, maybe I do need to relax a little bit on the 3D. My eyesight is good now, so I don't want to strain it either too much. Just gonna put some of these things away and uh, is that high pitch noise normal? I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. 